एस्ट्रोनॉमी मिसलेनी वेंकटेश बापूजी केतकर एंड द डिस्कवरी ऑफ प्लूटो अ फॉरगॉटन इवेंट इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडियन एस्ट्रोनॉमी वेंकटेश बापूजी केतकर वाज वेरी वेल नोन फॉर हिज एस्ट्रोनॉमी बुक्स इन मराठी गुजराती एंड इंग्लिश ही आल्सो रेक्टिफाइड द इंडियन लूनी सोलर कैलेंडर व्हिच वाज एरर फ्री इट वाज पॉपुलरली कॉल्ड Ketaki Panchang all over South India He was conversant with European astronomy He was in touch with great mathematicians like Simon Newcomb His work Indian and foreign chronology is very well known He predicted the position of the ninth planet almost 100 years ago Ketkar was born in Naragunda in Karnataka and educated in Bagalkote, Belgavi and other places. He worked as a school teacher in these regions and published his paper from Dharwad. Those days the small differences in the positions of Uranus and Neptune were being discussed. A similar difference for Uranus had led to the discovery of Neptune. Hence a new planet called planet X was being postulated the calculations on the prediction were being carried out by edward pickering and percival lowell after two decades of search finally it was discovered by clyde tombo in 1930 he was looking for a small shift in the position of a dot in a sequence of photographs using an instrument called blink comparator The two photographs were superposed on each other so that a small shift in the position of a faint dot could be observed. Ketkar approached the problem from a different angle using the idea of resonance among the satellites of Jupiter. The orbital periods of these satellites had a specific ratio. Io, Europa and Ganymede had orbital periods in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 4 this is a typical example for what is called a three body problem discussed extensively by the great mathematician laplace let us consider one revolution of ganymede let the starting point be in the configuration when all the three are in line with jupiter After one sixth of the orbital period, Io and Ganymede are in conjunction. After one fourth of the orbital period, Europa and Io are in conjunction. After half the orbital period, all the three are in conjunction but in a different configuration. After three fourths of the orbital period, only Europa and Io. are in conjunction after 5/6th orbital period io and ganymede are in conjunction at the end of the revolution they are in conjunction again this kind of motion can be expressed mathematically in terms of their longitude angles we may represent these angles by the corresponding alphabets i e and g We will represent their daily motion also by small letters. The mathematical relations were derived by Laplace. This idea was used by Ketkar. He considered the three bodies Uranus, Neptune and the planet. The mathematical relation for the longitudes is U minus 4n plus 3p is equal to 180 degrees. The relation for the daily motions is u minus 4n plus 3p is equal to 0. He obtained two solutions. One planet with orbital period of 242 years at a distance of 39 astronomical units. Another planet is also possible at a distance of 59 astronomical units and orbital period 458 years. These are the calculations for the two 
which he named Brahma and Vishnu. He predicted the positions for January 1st of the year 1911. This configuration used the conjunction of Uranus and Neptune with the Sun. He also considered the perturbations in the orbits of comets due to this new planet. Lowell and Pickering also had predicted more than one planet. As shown here, the prediction of Ketkar is better than that of the others. He predicted the distance of 38.95 astronomical units, whereas the actual value is 39.52 astronomical units. The daily motion agrees very closely while the other predictions deviate considerably. The orbital period differs by just 6 years. The others are 1 to 1.5 times more. The heliocentric longitude on July 14th also matches very closely with a difference of just half a degree. Ketkar submitted his results to the Astronomical Society of France and they were published in 1911 as reported from Dharbar. His results were ignored. When Pluto was discovered in 1930, he was bedridden and died the same year. Harihara P. Bhatt brought them to light in 1953 in the International Oriental Conference in Ahmedabad. Subsequently, Professor S. D. Sharma took great interest and published two papers in the Indian Journal of History of Science in the early 80s. The mystery of the other planet, which he named Vishnu, remains to be solved. Now, after 100 years of his prediction, we remember him with great reverence.